Hey guys, welcome to the latest edition of The Muir Reflection. John from The John Muir Show here, and it has become commonplace in recent times for members of the elite left to get on a soapbox and lecture all of the rest of us and tell us about how they're somehow morally superior to all the rest of us and that we need to do or stop doing uh, whatever it is they tell us to do. Uh, often they make accusations against us, which in so many cases are not true, but yet they lecture us nonetheless, even if we're not actually doing the thing that it is that they claim we're doing. Uh, in many cases, uh, we weren't the ones doing the thing that these members of the elite left were lecturing us about. Uh, actually, they themselves or their friends were the ones doing that very thing, but uh, instead of owning up to it and uh, trying to right the wrong, uh, nope, they just uh, deny it and try and project their sins onto uh, innocent political opponents of theirs. Uh, that happens all the time these days. Um, one member of the elite left uh, who's been getting plenty of headlines lately would be Michael Bloomberg, uh, the billionaire who uh, recently entered the already crowded 2020 Democrat presidential primary field. Uh, yeah, things have not been going so hot for Michael Bloomberg since he did enter the race. Uh, I don't think this is quite how uh, the billionaire had things planned out. But yeah, it's been one thing after another not really going his way. Most recently, now you've got uh, allegations and uh, resurfaced allegations coming out against Mr. Bloomberg. Uh, you have individuals who are alleging or it's being uncovered that it was alleged in the past that uh, Mr. Bloomberg, who of course uh, owns his own uh, media operation, uh, Bloomberg News, which is uh, nothing more than fake news, by the way, uh, that apparently uh, there are uh, women who have worked for Mr. Bloomberg who claim that he would repeatedly make sexist remarks toward them, uh, leading to an unhealthy work environment. And uh, in some cases, uh, it's been alleged that Mr. Bloomberg was even going up to pregnant female employees of his and uh, straight face, dead serious, telling them to kill uh, the babies uh, that they were uh, about to give birth to. Um, again, these are all allegations. And here on the John Muir Show, it is innocent until proven guilty for all individuals. But it's not the same standard. At least it's become clear it's not always the same standard for so many in today's left. See, for a lot of folks in the left, uh, when it comes to uh, judging people they don't like, uh, Donald Trump or any of Donald Trump's uh, supporters, then all of a sudden uh, a lot of folks on the left have tried making the standard guilty until proven innocent. Uh, so uh, if you're going to be consistent, uh, of course you have to be consistent if you're going to be taken seriously, well then you've got to apply that same standard to everybody, right? So uh, based on the logic of so many in today's left, then uh, Michael Bloomberg is guilty of every single thing that he has been accused of doing, whether it's true or not, whether he actually did or not, uh, based on the standards set by today's left when they go judging so many prominent conservatives, uh, Michael Bloomberg automatically guilty. Uh, I mean, wasn't it uh, not that long ago? Wasn't it just last year uh, during uh, Brett confirmation, uh, Brett Kavanaugh, pardon me, confirmation hearings to the Supreme Court of the United States that you had so many on the elite left saying, believe all women? Well, here you go. You have women making allegations against a prominent Democrat, one of the Democrats running for this nation's highest office, Michael Bloomberg, based on their logic, the logic of all those people on the left that said we need to believe all women back when they were making baseless accusations uh, against Brett Kavanaugh. Well, if it was good then, it's good now, right? So believe all the women. Uh, according to so many in the elite left, then uh, Michael Bloomberg must be guilty of everything he's been accused of doing. So please, for all of the people out there who employed this silly standard uh, last year, please be consistent. Uh, apply the same silly standard right now and uh, denounce Michael Bloomberg. Talk about how he's evil. He's this terrible human being. He's definitely guilty of every single thing that any woman has ever accused him of doing. And do your best to run this guy right out of the uh, 2020 Democrat primary. Because, hey, if it worked for Brett Kavanaugh, it works for a, a top Democrat like Michael Bloomberg too, right? Or, or, or wait, are you not going to apply the same standard to Michael Bloomberg? Or are you going to be totally hypocritical and say that, uh, nope, one standard, uh, one demonizing standard applies to conservatives and uh, another standard, a, a very forgiving standard, uh, applies to liberals. I, I have a feeling it's going to be uh, the hypocrisy uh, avenue that is taken, and it's just going to be very telling of today's Democrat Party that they do believe that in every aspect of life, inside a court of law and out of it, that there should be two tiers of justice. 
uh, the elite tier that allows leftists to get off the hook for whatever they do, and the bottom tier for conservatives who should be demonized even if they did nothing wrong. It should tell you a lot uh, about how uh, today's left is, and, and it should give every single reasonable person out there who believes in fairness, who believes in one standard of justice in a legitimate nation, uh, to want absolutely nothing to do with today's Democrat Party. That's all the time that we have for today. More of the John Muir Show each and every weekday, 8.40 a.m. on WTAQ, 9 a.m. WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.